Welcome back, scholars. We are now going to review our dirt quiz from yesterday, complete our vocabulary, and create our T-chart for today's lesson. So on our dirt quiz on yesterday, question one, where did Mark Anthony and Cleopatra travel to? The correct answer is A, Asia Minor. Question two, what did Cleopatra contribute to Mark Anthony's army? The correct answer is C. She contributed money, supplies, and 200 warships. Question three. What adjectives does the author use to describe Cleopatra? Scholars, this was our most challenging question, and you guys are not going to believe this. If you look at our prompt on yesterday, we are discussing the adjectives that the author used to describe Cleopatra. Those adjectives were, ready? D, shrewd, capable, and experienced. Again, the correct answer for question three is D. And question four, what did Cleopatra convince Mark Anthony to do on page 89? Correct answer, A. She convinced Mark Anthony to let her lead her own fleet. Again, question one is A, question two is C, question three is D, and question four is A. Scholars, for today's lesson, you'll need chapter 12, pages 88 through 89, sheet of paper, pencil, and a distraction-free location. Now remember, if you have any questions about today's lesson or the exit ticket, Visit us in office hours at 2.15. Remember, we're one big learning family, all here to help each other grow as learners and make this virtual experience the best experience ever. Our vocabulary term is the same term from yesterday. The word is shrewd. What word? Shrewd is an adjective. It's having or showing sharp powers of judgment. The word is shrewd. What word? So our discussion prompt, this goes back to question three. The author claims that Cleopatra was a shrewd, capable, and experienced leader. How do, how do the details on page 88 through 89 support this claim? So scholars, on your sheet of paper, you should label it 12B. Today's date is May 5th. And here's our discussion prompt. How do these actions show that Cleopatra is shrewd, capable, and or experienced? So scholars, as we look at the actions, we are determining how do the actions show that Cleopatra is shrewd, capable, or experienced? Be sure to write our discussion prompt down. I'll give you a few minutes to do so. We're moving. So we're going to create our T-chart and our T-chart today is going to be slightly different. Remember, we are focused on how does these actions show that Cleopatra is shrewd, capable, or experienced. These are the three actions, I mean, adjectives that we described in question three of our dirt quiz. So on your T-chart today, I want you to label um, Keywords to connect to the prompt. Those keywords are capable, experienced, and shrewd. So as we go through the actions, we are identifying if this action represents capable, experienced, or shrewd. So your boxes on the left will have the actions. Now, scholars, we already have our actions listed. We have to go in and write a claim to tell if it shows that she is capable, experienced, or shrewd. Again, we're going in and connecting our claim to the keywords that the author used. On the left will be our pieces of evidence. So scholars, I'm actually going to give you two minutes because this is a lengthy T-chart. Box one should have Cleo manage daily affairs, attends meetings, and makes decisions. Box two should say Cleo traveled 
to all parts of her empire in a very visible and powerful way. And then our last box should say, Cleo found ways to collect artifacts for Egypt to show her power back home. Scholars, again, you will have two minutes. Be sure to label each component in your T-chart. Your two minutes starts now. We have one minute remaining. Three seconds. So scholars, now that you have completed your T-chart, I want to make sure that I am being very clear. Your T-chart should look like this. You should have a complete T-chart that shows keywords that connects to the prompt. We're looking at capable, experience, and true. We already have listed our actions, and then we have a place for our evidence. Scholars, again, be sure that you have completed your T-chart before moving to the next video. So now that you have completed your T-chart, we have successfully reviewed um, vocabulary. We also reviewed our dirt quiz from yesterday and completed our T-chart. Scholars, meet me in the next video.